Vitamin and mineral deficiencies in a cow herd could be cutting into the rancher's bottom line. Well, the biggest thing that we see is those animals typically come off of ranch situations at lighter weights, higher risks. So then when you commingle them with cattle from other operations, then you see another bout of major onset of disease just due to a bovine respiratory disease complex, for example. Uh, those animals that are deficient are going to be much more susceptible to disease because those animals also don't respond to vaccines well because their immune system's not working well. And so you'll have a higher incidence of, of both sickness and death loss in the backgrounding operations and then following that up into the, the feedlot and finishing operations. Testing for the deficiencies is a good first step, especially if there's unexplained illnesses in the herd because nutrients vary across forage and soil types. I do testing nationwide and copper deficiency is fairly uniform across the United States uh, with as low as 51 or 52 percent of the cattle I test within an individual state being copper deficient up to in some areas close to 75 to 78 percent of the cattle I test in certain states are copper deficient. Hall says the most common deficiencies he sees nationwide are selenium, copper and zinc. Producers who test then create a customized supplement program can maximize productivity and add value for both the cow and the weaned calf. With adequate supplementation programs to get animals into the optimum for their immune health and their reproductive efficiency, the biggest thing that producers see on a regular basis is they'll see a, a jump in their weaning weights. You know, with even mild deficiencies, when you correct them, you'll see 25 to 35 pounds of increased weaning weight across an average across a herd. Now with more severe deficiencies, I've seen numerous cases where we've seen 50 or more pounds increase in weaning weights. Healthy calves result in higher quality beef. For ranchers who target premium programs like the certified Angus beef brand, supplementing can also mean improved quality grade. The biggest thing is as you correct these problems and you put overall healthier animals into the next stage of the development phase into the backgrounding lots and then subsequently into the feed lots, these healthier animals gain better, they're more profitable all the way up the chain, and they also tend to marble out better and so you end up with better carcass characteristics and quality. I'm Bob Cervera.